Today's update is one I think that everybody will at least be somewhat excited about. So I thought I'd come in and talk about it and we can rant or get excited in the comments about what all's going on. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Sarah and this is my studio. So for the past couple of months, I've been covering some of the updates with the Eufy Make E1 printer and its rollout that's had some debacles to say the least. And they had been only really updating us on a monthly basis. And then they said they were going to start updating us on a bi-weekly basis. In my last video, I was like, I'm going to assume that's maybe every other week, even though that's not really the use of the word bi-weekly, but it turns out they actually were going to try and update us twice a week, at least for the first week. Now, admittedly, I'm not complaining because they have been updating us on a weekly basis with how many units they're shipping, and I'm not sure it's really worth doing that twice in a week. But there has been a little bit of frustration going on up until at least the update that dropped this morning. And when I mean this morning, I think maybe like an hour or two ago as of this recording. Couldn't sleep. It's storming outside. Anybody else living in the Midwest going through the blustery craziness that's going on? This update today, I think will make a number of people happy. So let's get into the updates. All right, so when we left off last time, we got the issues in regards to the lack of updates as well as the magenta ink problem that was going on. And since then, there's been a number of updates. They updated us on the third, you know, understanding that we're frustrated and all of that. And I'm not necessarily gonna click this open, but basically they had told us that they had packed up another 100 units at that point. Another update a couple days later said that they had dropped an additional 135 units to be packed and shipped. I think most people looking at these numbers was like, these seem very small and it's frustrating. It's like, we're never gonna get to my machine. They did those two updates in one week and then they started going to a weekly system. So last week they said they had shipped an additional 305 units. They have started to keep sort of a cumulative process going on here with how many that they're shipping. This is what they said they shipped that week. So cumulative, I would think you would put a total down here. That is a little bit confusing. And then of course, pictures of everything moving. Obviously they're talking about stuff coming out of China based on the imagery. And then if I scroll down here a little bit more, they talk about the fact that they're fixing the magenta, spell check people, issue going on here, as well as a all of the local warehouses, I guess, that have sort of our accessory kits and what's supposed to be shipped out. I'm waiting for the rotary printing attachment to come through and it looks like they've shipped 432 of them and they're planning to ship 8,585 next week, at least for US backers. So I'm guessing all of them are supposed to come out. Now, in addition to this, they have set up sort of this status tracking sheet that you can use, which if you click on it, and then it'll give you your tracking information. However, at least in my case, I'm not seeing any tracking numbers. And I had seen some posts on the Facebook group that a couple of V6 backers had gotten their machines already. So they are actually like being delivered, but the tracking numbers weren't updated and they didn't even get like a tracking code email being sent to which somebody was like, oh, it probably ended up in your spam folder. Well, I can tell you I've been through my spam folder a couple times and I'm not seeing a tracking number. So I don't really know what's going on here. If this is this site is actually working, I have no way of knowing that. But at this point, I don't have tracking information coming through, even though supposedly I should be seeing my rotary attachment here in the near future. And then I'm just sort of in this waiting, not yet ship stage for basically the ink in the printer itself. But back to the updates. So that was last week. Now we've got one more update, which came out today, this morning, I really think honestly within the last couple of hours. And this one at least is a little more positive because what they tell us is that this week they actually shipped a thousand units out. That's better. That's closer to the numbers that they gave us initially. When we go back quite a ways, they were hoping to be pushing out, you know, a thousand to, I want to say 2000, maybe more a week. So this would suggest that, hey, maybe we've got everything ironed out and we are really deploying units. Now we had the problem before with the magenta ink and there being some issues with moisture getting in. And they had mentioned that they were needing to, you know, kind of manufacture new sets of ink. And it says ink will be packed up. Now the challenge is, and they don't really seem to mention it here. And it's kind of talked a little bit on the Facebook group I saw was that it sounded like some of the early printers coming in didn't actually have the ink with them which really just kind of turns the printer into a very large paperweight. 
But the real question is, is then are all of these machines like that? Are we all waiting for ink? Because then another poster said, oh, no, printers that are made down the line will contain the ink because they've solved the problem. So I kind of wonder if the reason that we've seen this number surge is we've got the ink fixed or whatever problem was going on and this group of thousand will actually contain the printer ink that we need. I don't really know. I do wish that Eufy Make would add a little more information on whether or not these printers will contain ink or how the ink situation is being addressed. Is every printer going to need the ink shipped separately? Which if that's the case, like I said, you're just going to end up with a paperweight. So that needs to be addressed. The other thing I want to just point out a little bit, and it's not noticeable on this update because it's just posted. But when you go over to a, the previous update and they talk a little bit about their numbers and all of that, and you go down into the comments section, they do give some responses, but in reading them, I want to be like, you feel make your AI showing just a little bit. Now, I don't have any conundrums with technology, large language models being employed to try and help with various things. AI is a tool that can be used. For instance, Kittle recently had reached out and asked if I would maybe do a collab with them and kind of, you know, check out some of their stuff. I still really don't know whether or not I'm going to do it, but I am playing around with it a little bit. And I did use it to kind of design a label thing for the salt shakers that my husband's putting smoked salt in for Christmas. They helped me create sort of this D&D themed design that I thought was kind of cool. That being said, I still felt like their software was running really, really slow. That's another story. My point to that tangent is that using AI tools can be helpful. That being said, you might want to just adjust things a little bit so that it's not so obvious AI is responding because these messages definitely read like that. There's very much this feel felt found kind of effect when I read them, but also lots of emojis going on here. And while I like to use emojis and things, this is an update on a post. You're supposed to look professional and it's not given professional vibes. So just, you know, as an aside, if you're trying to deploy the technology to try and appease the masses, you might want to cover your tracks just a little bit more, just a little bit, just saying. That's mostly what we get with the update is that, hey, a thousand models are going out. This is great. When are we going to see them? Well, they're coming from China. So I don't know at this point, February, maybe possibly even into March, but at least it appears production has been ramped up and we're getting lots of units out. The big questions, of course, are, are they going to contain ink? And then there is also that question of, is this order tracker sheet even working? Because like I said, some people are like, no, this never updated for me and my machine showed up. I've got an estimated date of arrival at this point of my rotary attachment showing up pretty much any day and I see no tracking number. If the tracking sheet is working for you guys, by all means, leave a comment, let us know. Or have you seen your machine? Has it showed up? And did it contain ink or any more information that you've perhaps picked up that maybe I'm not catching? So that's what we've got, at least at this point. We're getting into the holiday season, so we may not necessarily see updates for a week or two. I don't really know. They could be working through this. And then, of course, I know some people are concerned about the fact that you're going to get into the Chinese New Year and production may then shut down completely, which, for the record, the people in China deserve to celebrate the New Year. So I don't have a problem with them pausing production and shutting things down so that people can actually have a proper vacation. And I don't really push these delays on the workers in the factory that may potentially play a role with things. I don't know. I'm just sort of speculating this is all alleged at this point. But anyway, at least we have some positive information going on that it looks like production has started to really ramp up to the numbers that we were expecting. I'm looking forward to getting my machine and seeing what it can do, but at this point, it's gonna be months down the line. In the meantime, I will probably do additional content here, play around with some new tutorials, as well as trying out some new 3D printing stained glass projects. And I'm thinking about maybe adding in some draw alongs or model alongs, trying to get myself to learn a little bit more. That's kind of a goal for the new year. Also, what are you guys interested in seeing me do here in the studio? I really like getting springboards for different projects and idea. That's something that really works with me is not just trying to pull an idea out of thin air, but seeing what you guys are interested in. I'm so appreciative of all of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched things. I cannot believe the amount of growth I've had this year, especially in the second half of 2025. I've really kind of exploded and I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers, which is, you know, still makes me a small channel, but at the same time, it's one of those markers where you go, you know, I've really kind of done this and 
I'm excited to be able to show you guys new projects in the future. If you want to see more content like this, by all means, hit the subscribe button and then ring the bell for notifications. Also, if you could tap the like button to let the Eldritch algorithm know that this video was a good one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.